Petrograd Solaris, Polish National Synchrotron Radiation Facility, which is partner in SARI Consortium. A cryo-electron microscopy, also called cryo-EM, is a branch of transmission electron microscopy used for imaging samples rapidly frozen and kept cool down to liquid nitrogen temperatures. The National Synchrotron Radiation Center, Solaris, utilizes high-end cryo-electron microscope, Titan Cryos G3i, for the experiments conducted with the use of two main techniques, single particle analysis and electron tomography. Both of them are enabling researchers to obtain the 3D structures of studied specimens. What makes them different is the way of getting the structure. As it's used to say, seeing is believing. When we can see something, it's easier for us to understand how things are connected, what different parts could do. This knowledge is crucial in fields like biotechnology, structural biology, pharmacy or microbiology. Insight into functions of macromolecules can help in the development of new drugs, new vaccines, coronavirus included, or new drug delivery systems. Such knowledge could also be used to modify plants for crops improvement or to design new degradable materials. In the case of single particle, we can obtain the 3D structure of macromolecules such as proteins, RNAs, DNAs or artificial constructs like protein cages. On the other hand, tomography prefers larger objects like viruses, cells, liposomes or parts of tissues. The first step to the process of obtaining a 3D structure is to collect a set of micrograms, either a large number data set for a single particle, comprised of thousands or even tens of thousands of images, or around 100 images still series for tomography. In both cases, a rapidly frozen sample is needed, where analyzed objects are immobilized in vitre size. Both single particle and tomography are based on back projection of 2D images into our 3D structure. While single particle uses a large number of identical particles randomly arranged in the eyes, it merges them into 2D classes, assigns angles and projects those classes into 3D. Tomography uses a series of 2D images of one object tilted in a controlled way and then projects them into 3D structure. With a very pure, stable sample and proper amount of data, we can obtain protein structure with a resolution below 2 angstrom, or 0.2 nanometers, which means one allowing us to see atomic chains building analyzed molecule. The best is to bring frozen and already pre-screened grid. If not possible, then a purified sample in an aqueous buffer should suffice. The applicable range of molecular weight starts from around 200 kilodaltons. Even smaller molecules can be studied, but with lower resolution. One average size data set for a single particle ranges from 2 to 8 terabytes of data. For tomography, it's rather hundreds of gigabytes. For more information, visit SERIC website.